If you frequently play Minecraft servers, then chances are you've heard of Cubecraft. It's the largest server on Minecraft Bedrock and one of the largest on Minecraft Java, with thousands of consistent players. However, the server also has a vast history full of features, events, and mysteries. So today, we'll be going over the Cubecraft iceberg, starting at the surface with common server knowledge and making our way to the abyss, where Cubecraft's darkest mysteries lie. This is the Cubecraft Iceberg Explained. Speedruns Speedrunning is one of the most popular trends on Cubecraft. If you go onto speedrun.com, you can find a Cubecraft game section with dozens of categories and hundreds of runs. When submitting a run, you need to provide video proof, and some of these videos have managed to gain thousands of views on YouTube. Even I have a speedrun. Well, even if it is 80th place. VIP Levels Like most Bedrock servers, Cubecraft features microtransactions in the form of ranks and loot. Those who buy these things are rewarded with VIP levels, with level 1 being default and level 30 being the highest. Each level contains new perks, each with better perks than the level before. These perks can be trails, username colors, and just about any kind of loot you can think of. VIP level 30, which costs over $200, gives users the ability to fly. Scrims For over two years now, competitive Cubecraft players have competed in scrims. These scrims are usually held in either Egg Wars squads or Egg Wars mega, and require two scrim teams. The two teams that are scrimming will need to wipe out the teams of people that are not scrimming, then jump in the void, and then they'll fight. The last team standing wins. The rules and history of Cubecraft scrims are complicated, so I won't get into them too much today for the sake of time. However, if you would like to go in-depth on Cubecraft scrims, join one of the many Discord servers about them. Seasonal Events Seasonal events are events on Cubecraft that are themed after a certain season, one example being the Halloween event in October. These events often include lobby revamps, object hunts, seasonal maps and game modes, and at one point even brought in a complete RPG, which I'll talk about later. The main events we get during an average year are the Lunar event in January, the Spring event in April or May, the Summer event during July and August, the Halloween event in October, and the Festive event in December. Partner Rank Partner Rank is basically Cubecraft's version of YouTube Rank, Twitch Rank, and External Community, all put together into one big rank. There are no requirements, so anyone who owns a YouTube channel, or runs a Discord server, etc. can apply, and they might just be accepted. Those who achieve this rank will be rewarded with a number of benefits, which are currently displayed on the screen. Cubetubers. A Cubetuber is a person who creates YouTube videos on or about Cubecraft. Some of the most popular Cubetubers right now are Related Noobs, Riffs, and Privated. Cubecraft.net Cubecraft.net is another name for the forums. It's basically Cubecraft's official website, and it contains a number of things, including reports, advertisement, suggestions, discussion, and more. It's also the place where people apply for ranks, such as staff or partner. The forums are Cubecraft's main place for announcing updates to the server. In order to comment on a post or create your own posts, you'll need a forums account, which can easily be created on Cubecraft.net. Beta Games Unlike most other Minecraft servers, Cubecraft doesn't instantly release new game modes. Instead, new games are released and put into the beta games lobby, so bugs can be fixed and the games can be remastered before the official release. An unpopular beta game won't get released, one example being Mindash. Overall, it's a good idea that leads to smoother game mode releases on Cubecraft. Party Glitching Now, this one is kind of hard to explain, so bear with me. Cubecraft does not allow players to keep solo game modes if they are in a party, however, party glitching is a way to combat this. Here's how it's done. First, a player invites another player to a party, however the person being invited does not yet join. Next, the party owner goes into a solo game mode. Lastly, the other player joins the party and is pulled into the solo game mode with the party owner, just on a different team. The two, or however many were glitched in, can then fight each other. I hope that was easy to understand. Magic and Mayhem 
Released in summer 2021, Magic and Mayhem was a game unlike any other. It was a fantasy RPG game, which are uncommon on servers like Cubecraft. It was also extremely popular, nearly beating out games like Egg Wars and Sky Wars. However, it caused a lot of lag on Cubecraft, and was removed on October 1st, 2021, to make room for that year's Halloween event. Cubecraft teased of a potential return of the game mode, however, considering this was nearly two years ago, I wouldn't get my hopes up. Old Bundles Old Bundles are bundles that were themed after a certain season as part of a seasonal event, and after the event was over, the bundle was removed, making it an old bundle. Some of these bundles can still be bought annually at Cubecraft's birthday event, but the really old ones, from 2018 and 2019, seem to be gone forever. Or at least that's what we thought. Let me explain. See, Cubecraft can stop advertising bundles on their server, however, they can never remove these bundles from the Minecraft marketplace. So, using each bundle's marketplace link on the internet, these bundles can be purchased as we speak. Sure, Cubecraft has hired the price to keep people from buying the bundles, but some people will still spend $20 on a single cage that used to be free. 1.19 Update 1.19 update was recently released to Cubecraft Java to celebrate 10 years of Cubecraft. As for Bedrock, it hasn't been released yet. My theory is that it's coming out in 2028 to celebrate 10 years of Cubecraft Bedrock. Anyway, the 1.19 update added new lobbies, new maps, and new items, all including 1.19 features. Skywars Solo received a new map called Warden that, well, as a warden, Pretty cool, yet controversial update if you ask me. This is due to extreme changes in several game modes. Understandably, not everyone liked this. Since the update hasn't been on Java for too long, we'll just have to wait and see the long-term effect. Lobby Signs Lobby signs are those signs and lobbies that advertise Cubecraft's social media. They're usually put in places where everyone will see them. So, why are they so low on the iceberg? Well, some of these signs are put in very interesting places. One example is the top of the Skywars lobby. Personally, I think Cubecraft should use these signs to advertise both their partners and Cubecraft's social media instead of what they do now. Maybe a Join Cubecraft HQ sign, or a Subscribe to Soul MC sign would be cool. They'd have to ask these people first, of course, but most would likely say yes. I mean, it's free clout. Skyblock End Update the Skyblock End Update was an update very many people looked forward to. However, it ended up being delayed. It would have added the end dimension to Skyblock, which would have been very popular with the content creators. We don't know when it's coming out, all we know is that it didn't come to Java with the 1.19 update. Removed Java Game Modes in September of 2022, a number of popular game modes were removed from Cubecraft Java due to a lack in players. Some of the notable game modes that were removed include Egg Wars Solos, along with a popular Java-only game called Tower Defense. A lot of people were understandably upset, as their favorite game mode may have been removed. However, considering the alternative was a Java Edition shutdown, I think we should all be somewhat grateful. Hidden Commands on Cubecraft, there are a number of hidden commands. They're just commands that most of the player base doesn't know about, as they don't have much of a practical use. Two examples are slash hello and slash perms, which result in the following chat messages. Egg Wars Lobby Village in the Egg Wars lobby, players with either partner rank or VIP level 30 can fly far away from the main lobby to a place called the Egg Wars Lobby Village. This place exists due to a glitch, likely caused when moving the lobby's world file from Java to Bedrock. Other than just being a cool place to visit, there's not much else to talk about. Under the Block Wars lobby At the end of the Block Wars lobby parkour, you'll find a ladder. And if you climb down that ladder, you'll find yourself in a place we call Under the Block Wars lobby. And, well, it's a massive cave that's, well, under the Block Wars lobby. It's a really big and cool place, so I encourage you to explore it for yourself. Fun fact, it's visible from the surface through the glass that separates the above ground and the cave. Cubecraft at Minecon In the year 2016, Cubecraft Games attended Minecon, which was in Anaheim, California that year. At the time, Cubecraft was one of the largest servers on Minecraft Java, so it made sense for the server to attend. Cubecraft hosted two panels at the event, and Rubik Cube Man, Marco Slater, and Ginger Geek were just a few of the staff members who attended. Spring RPG 
In spring of 2021, Craft released an entire RPG as part of that year's spring event. The RPG involved fighting monsters, doing quests, and in the end, defeating an evil bunny. Several prefixes were given out as prizes, such as Evil Bunny and Monster Hunter. This was a really cool idea, and I wish Cubecraft would do something like it again in the future. Shiny Sandwich in 2020, Shiny Sandwich was a well-liked member of the Cubecraft community for being friendly and skilled on mobile. However, on January 18th, 2021, Shiny Sandwich unfortunately passed away at just age 13. I won't get into how it happened, but if you would like to know, I'll link the real-life news article about the whole thing in this video's description. When members of the Cubecraft community heard about this, they instantly started paying tribute, holding services and lobbies, uploading videos to YouTube, and creating the Stay Shiny hashtag. Cubecraft staff put a statue of Shiny in the Egg Wars lobby as tribute soon after. However, they removed it in summer 2022, saying it was time to move on and remember Shiny through videos, which a lot of people didn't like. Anyway, the whole thing is just really, really sad, and no one deserves to pass away at 13. Hashtag stay shiny. Fairy Tale Rooms in the Egg Wars Duos map, Fairy Tale, there are six islands, and on each island, there's a tower, and inside each tower, there's a room. What's inside this room, you may ask? Well, a number of signs, each containing advice or jokes. There's also a lever with a single sign above it that says they're all connected. What does this mean? Well, my friend, we're just getting started with this abyss of Cubecraft lore, and it's all currently unsolved. Secret Levers all around Cubecraft lobbies, we can find levers. Levers in the Battle Arena lobby, levers in the Egg Wars lobby, but none of the levers seem to do anything. In fact, there's only one place where we can find levers that actually seem to have a purpose other than just sitting there. This place is, of course, the Block Wars lobby. Block Wars Levers and Room in the Block Wars lobby, we can find two very obscure things, each in the exact same part of the lobby, an iron door and three levers in a row. Many people have tried to open the door by placing the levers up and down in a certain order, however all efforts have proven unsuccessful. A few years ago, using a glitch, people managed to get behind the door, but all they found was a room, and that's it. The Back Rooms in the main lobby of Cubecraft, you can jump through a painting, and doing so will lead you directly into the back rooms. It's basically a maze down there, and you can even find the back rooms monster. Some people have explored the whole thing, and a map even exists. Overall, really cool and funny Easter egg on Cubecraft. And there you have it. That was the Cubecraft Iceberg Explained. We traveled from the surface, explaining Cubecraft's well-known facts, to the abyss, where we covered Cubecraft's darkest mysteries. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, because I'm really trying to hit 1k by the end of the summer. Also, if you noticed that I got anything wrong, I encourage you to kindly let me know in the comments. This video took months of work, so thank you for watching to the end. Anyway, I've been Major with Gaming, and as always, have a nice day.